Hi, my name is Dave and I am a bird nerd. Welcome to my community, Bird Sculptors and Painters. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tip about a notebook where you can keep track of all your colors and not have to rely on that bad human color memory. When I'm painting on my birds, I like to save color swatches. So if I like the paint job I got, I can repeat it again in the future. Or if I need to make small tweaks, I have something to compare against. So for example, this uh, gadwall hen that I painted here, while I was painting this, I took notes on the colors. And one thing that I do that not a lot of people do, but I number all my birds. So this bird was number 67. So in my, my paint swatch notebook here, I've said right on it, gadwall hen number 67. And then I've recorded the paint colors that I've used. Just little patches and just dip my finger in the paint and spread it out. That's something that Keith Mueller showed me. Um, and spreading it out, having the thick and then having it spread out on the white really can show you. Sometimes you're looking really at this, this spread out part. Sometimes you're looking at here to get the right color. So you can come back and match later. And then I just, I just give them letters and I say what kind of pigments in them, et cetera, et cetera. So that's one for the Gadwall hen. And what's interesting to note is when you look at this bird, you don't see a lot of colors. And when you look here, there isn't a lot of colors, but there are only subtle differences be between say this C mixture in this D mixture, but they make a big difference on your bird. So let's see, a couple of pages later, I've got this um, Pintel Drake, which as you can see has quite a few more color combinations on it. And you know, you look at the bird and you're like, wow, that's a, you know, it's got a lot of gray on it. And oh yeah, you know, there's a little touch of yellow here and you know, maybe some, maybe some, there's some light blue details on the feather quills there. But there's actually quite a bit of different colors on this bird. And so next time I paint a Pintel Drake, I'll come back and I'll refer to this and you know make any adjustments if I wanna do something different. Now, I used to do these color swatches. I used to keep them on paper plates, um, or styrofoam plates rather, but I just got tired of the stack of styrofoam plates on my thing, and so I found this notebook. It is a uh, spiral bound, it's got a nice cover. Brand is Stillman and Burn. It's a Zeta series. So they have multiple series of these that call them archival sketchbooks. You can kind of see the logo there. Uh, this Zeta series has very thick paper. It's a multimedia, like a, I think it's a, I can't remember if it's 140 or 300 pound watercolor paper, but the nice thing about it is you can use both sides of a page because it won't bleed through much. You know, you can see a little bit of grease come through, but for the most part, you know, you can use both sides of every page in this notebook. So this notebook is a little spendy, but I, you know, it's a nice thing to flip back through or refer back to when I'm painting different birds. If you enjoyed this tip, hit the subscribe button. Then you'll know when I upload more of the good stuff. You should probably also consider joining my community, Bird Sculptors and Painters. There's a link in the description below this video and that will get you all the best tips and tricks delivered straight to your inbox, as well as updates on all the courses that I offer. I look forward to supporting you in your journey to total burden. Thank you.